Hello everybody, welcome back to the Garner Films YouTube channel. Today we're talking about something that I'm super excited to implement in my videography business and use for a lot of projects that I have coming up. Um, this is the DJI Ronin S 3-axis gimbal. This gimbal um, can hold up to 8 pounds, which is ex insane for the price. This is a $500 gimbal, and compared to everything else on the market, the things that this can do and the advantages that this has is pretty overwhelming when you care compare it to a lot of other gimbals that are even more expensive than this such as the Zion Crane 2 and the Ronin M which is the next uh, jump on DJI's site. Um, I got this gimbal because I wanted uh, I use a glide cam but the glide cam you have to put in a lot of time to really master it and my glide cam is not that really high of quality. Um, there's a couple of other issues in glide cams. Uh, the balancing is pretty um, iffy and it's all manual. There's no there's no automatic features um, like a three axis gimbal uh, because the gimbal is uh, obviously electronic. Um, also, with a gimbal, it has it can usually hold a lot more. There's a lot more versatility. Uh, with a glide cam, you can't do three. 160 degrees rolls like I'll be showing you later on and there's just a lot more that you can do with gimbals Glide cams have their spot, but gimbals I feel like for me are going to be a lot better um, So we're going to talk about a couple of the specs um, The Ronin S weighs four pounds by itself, which is pretty beefy pretty heavy um, It's a big guy, but it can hold a lot. I mean it can hold twice its weight um, and balance it uh, so that's really nice. Uh, it's two feet tall with this tripod here. Bring it up here. You can see how tall it is. Put a camera it'll make it a little taller, but yeah, so it's pretty tall. Um, it can hold your DSLRs and mirrorless cameras. I'm going to be using it for both. Uh, my Canon 80D is a DSLR, and then the camera that I'm shooting on right now is the Canon M50, and that is a mirrorless setup. Um, this gimbal is very impressive, and it can even hold cameras such as the Red Weapon, and Canon C300, so these really big cinema rigs can also go on here, and that's very impressive for a gimbal of this price and size. This gimbal has a whopping 12 hour battery life. Uh, I was shooting with it all day yesterday and didn't even think about the battery. At the end of the day, the battery was at 70%, and I probably shot four to five hours of video with this, so, or I used it for four to five hours, so it's very, impressive that that battery life you're never going to have to worry about that on a single day shoot if you're going for 36 hours maybe but any normal shoot you're not going to have to worry about battery life i really like the customizability with this there's little plates on the side that you can put a follow focus rig or you can attach a quarter 20 to a um, arm and put a monitor on the side and monitor all your footage as you're doing it that'd be pretty neat and i think i'm going to be definitely using that probably not the follow focus because i shoot canon and a lot of the canon cameras are not compatible with the DJI follow focus. There's also a lot of uh, really cool features on the app. If you get the Ronin app, um, it will directly connect this through Bluetooth and you can actually control the gimbal through Bluetooth. You can set up points uh, for a motion lapse or time lapse. And there's a lot you can do. Um, you can set up all the uh, custom settings, the custom modes. You can do a lot with that. So right now I'm gonna show you me balancing this gimbal. Um, I've only done it a couple of times and I'm pretty sure I can do it in like three minutes. So we'll see. I will be putting the Canon 80D with the Sigma 18 to 35. This is a three and a half pound setup. So very heavy when it comes to cameras with lenses um, for, for the DSLR range. But um, we're going to be balancing this and I will see you when this is all balanced. So as you can see, I am completely balanced. Uh, I'm gonna, going to boot the gimbal on right now. Gives you that nice satisfying ding, and then it balances itself. Um, and as you can see, now I have full control with this really nifty joystick on the back. Um, on the front, it has this really nice trigger, um, and this trigger has a lot of functionality. If you hit it once, it will hold its position, and then it'll face that way, as you can see. If you hit it twice, it will return to straight. And then if you hit it three times, it will spin around and you can do selfie mode. 
Um, I'm probably not going to be using selfie mode when I'm working with clients, but it's nice that it's there just for a little bit of fun. Um, the Ronin S has three different modes that you can function to whatever you please. My first mode is really slow tracking, as you can see here. And this is really good for tracking a subject, moving up, moving down. I have the settings pretty low so I can get really nice smooth movements. Uh, mode two for me is when it's in flashlight mode, that's straightforward. It can do a 360 roll um, and you can get some really cool uh, inception type effects with that. Um, and then my third mode is fast. So it moves very quickly um, tracking subjects. This is basically the same thing as sport mode. Um, and in sport mode, if you hold M and you move it around, it moves very quick. So as you can see, there's a lot of cool modes and customizability that you can do with this drone. And I think the one thing that I have a gripe with this thing is it's so dang heavy. When you have it alone with the camera, it's not a one-handed drone, or not drone, gimbal by any means. This is a heavy piece of gear. Um, now with two hands, it works actually really well. Uh, being able to two hand this is really nice, um, but I don't think it's a uh, one-handed gimbal like the Zion V2 or like that Osmo Mobile or something like that. It's a beefy gimbal. Now with that said, it's also very pro. This thing has a lot of pro features such as the motion lapse, being able to set certain points and keyframes and send your movements uh, just through your phone. Not ever having to touch the gimbal is really nice. You can get some really cool like hyperlapse kind of moments. Um, so I think for what it is and the size, I think it's amazing. Um, like I said, this is definitely a first impressions video. I unboxed this two days ago and yesterday was the first day that I really shot anything with it. So I am done here. I think I'm going to send some B-roll your way and you can let me know what you think at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.